Blutbad. Hello and welcome back to another behind the scenes toy photography video. This week I'll show you how to make tiny flashlights out of LEDs. I call this shot Skeleton Crew. I'll also show you my editing process in Photoshop. For this shot I used Fern, Neil, Wim, and KB, all from Star Wars The Black Series. As a huge Star Wars nerd, I always try to adhere to Star Wars canon when I shoot my photos, or at the very least, not openly contradict canon. On this occasion, however, I actually received these skeleton crew figures before the show came out, so I had to make up a scene with no plot information from the show. Most of the promos and trailers I've seen have been showing off a Goonies and E.T. sort of vibe, so I kept this shot simple by showing the kids on a nondescript but visually similar 80s feeling adventure. My setup was incredibly simple, with the only set pieces being this fake forest floor and a tree branch in the background. After setting those up, I posed and placed my figures. Each figure had a single white LED acting as a flashlight. These LEDs require a hardwired power source containing two AA batteries. To cut down on editing in Photoshop, I strategically placed a bunch of decorative moss on the ground, doing my best to cover up the black battery cases. I couldn't do much about the wires, but they were slim enough that I felt confident I could edit them out in Photoshop later. With the scene set, I finalized my lighting. I used two large programmable softboxes with the brightness turned down to 10%. Neil was so small that the other figures were blocking his light, so I also added a small blue spotlight pointed right at his face. Lastly, I used a bit of atmosphere spray to enhance the beams of light coming from the LEDs. Here's my starting image. My main goals for editing were to remove the wires and touch up the light levels. I started by using the healing brush tool to edit out most of the wiring, using content aware fill for the extra tricky spots. Then I added adjustment layers for light levels and color balance. I obviously wanted this to be a dark nighttime scene, so I really pumped up the black levels. Next, I busted out the healing brush tool again to edit out the less obtrusive articulation joints on the figures, before resorting back to content aware fill to edit out the large hip gaps. After that, I used the dodge tool to lighten up the skin tones on my characters, making their features more visible in the dark. To finish my edit, I again used the dodge tool, this time to subtly enhance the flashlight beams. It's important to heavily feather the edges of your selection to make light beams like this look more natural. So once again, here's my starting image. And here's where I ended up. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and maybe check me out on Instagram. Thanks, and until next time.